Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Capricorn, this is your next 24 hour star reading session for you, Capricorn. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Capricorn. This reading for today, this is your next 24 hours reading. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and hit subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Capricorn, I invite you to check out the description box below. You will see the details of my website. You will see the details of the products and the services that we offer. It's all in our website, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the next 24 hours message for the Capricorn sign? What can I get for Capricorn in love, career, finance, and general situationship? Ooh, you've got an Ace of Cups and a Temperance card. Overall energy, Capricorn, you have the Six of Cups. It is possible, Capricorn, that you are missing someone, okay? Six of Cups, it could be you're missing, um, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a feeling of being alone, you know, and you're missing someone special. It could be your um, special person. It could be romantic. Um, you could possibly miss your family. You could possibly miss your kids. Or you could possibly miss, um, I don't know, being with someone special, like next to someone special, okay? Six of Cups. Um, there is a little bit of loneliness and uh, feeling of detachment. And there is a feeling of you're wanting to be alone. And also at the same time, like there's a balance of, okay, I want to have an alone time. But I also would like to have from time to time um, someone who would connect with me deeply. Like deep connection, Six of Cups. Because I feel like you have options. But the people around you, you know, it's kind of artificial. Not all of the people you connect every day is something deep. So you're missing a deeper connection. Like um, the depth of someone's affection or connection. You're missing that, Six of Cups. And... I think and I feel like intuitively you're in search for that. Right now, I don't think it's a biggie. I don't think you're kind of desperate to get that because there's a sense of, okay, I'm alone right now or I'm still exploring, figuring things out like that. There's a, there's a feeling of being secure on being alone, but would you would prefer to have a deep level of connection emotionally with someone, with somebody you might travel to see friends or family for some of you guys or kids, you know, warmth of someone, deep level connection, six of cups. So I hope you find a journey to connect with, to, you'll be able to find this if you don't stop, okay? Um, you're not in a hurry, you're not desperate, there's a, there's a, there's a pathway or plan that you are uh, following Capricorn, six of cups, good on you, okay? Now let's pick up more intuitive message for you. You've got the knight of wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you've got the Judgment card, the Eight of Wands. It seems to be recently you were dealing with a possible on and off connection, okay? Um, it could also be you that um, there's a part of you that you want this one and then you stop and then you want it again. So there is, I would say, inconsistencies with your feelings or um, inconsistencies inconsistency of personal connection around you or maybe at home or at work um there's a lot of i don't know projects or plans that you started doing and for some reason it stopped so yeah there's a lot of hot and cold hot and cold 
situation and people and you could not come up with a final plan you know knight of wands judgment card for some of you for some of you guys you're a little bit frustrated capricorn because you started you started it or you started with someone and then it stopped and you could not push it forward because you needed that person or you needed the energy of another uh person or situation to make it happen so you're kind of in a dead end you know because of the hot and cold hot and cold cold or stop and go situation here because if you can control that your preference is that you want it you want it eight of wands continues you know i feel like recently you want an outcome judgment card but you could not get the outcome because you're connected to someone who's causing delay or inconsistencies or stop and go and you're a little bit you know agitated and frustrated that you wanted you, for some of you it could be a work where you really want to complete it and you're working double time and no matter how you work double time you still need the other person to help you or another energy to complete it because for some of you you know it's okay for you to work overtime or to do most of the stuff the working the you know the following up the chasing but at some point you get tired and at some point there's some decisions that you can't do it's really dependent on that person or that situation because moving forward in the immediate future this is you four of pentacles i feel like you're coming to a point where this needs to stop it could be a relationship it could be something that you started off doing connected to work home family or friends but you started doing it You've, you're doing it and then it stopped and then pick up again it stopped so it's making you a little bit frustrated because you have already invested feelings or energy i mean it's exciting but they're just inconsistent or maybe there are some resources that's not available I mean, no matter what, no matter how you put so much effort, it just keeps delaying someone for some of you guys. Because eight of wands, you try to really give it your best, one hundred fifty percent, and the outcome is still like a four of pentacles. You know, like it's still not an outcome. It's still far away from the expected outcome. So you're putting a stop into this project, person, situation, or feelings. You know, you could, you, you could be putting a stop with your feelings towards this person or your excitement towards a project or your interest towards a situation because it just wouldn't come to a point where, okay, this is the outcome. And I really feel like you've given your best, you know. Now, in the immediate future, um, this person, this situation, if you've decided to stop, to not do anything because you feel like the ball is in their court or you feel like I've given 150%, still no outcome, still not the outcome that I expected. Then you leave it for a pentacles because it's making you more and more confused. You know, it makes you confused. You let go. I feel like you're going to let go, surrender. Um, Eventually, that would send a ripple of effect towards the person because... Um, you've got here in the immediate future, you've got the Knight of Cups. So this is the thing is you've got to stop, give them like stopping gives them a nudge that, hey, Capricorn has decided to back away or, you know, slow down. It gives them this Knight of Cups. It gives you this Knight of Cups. So the, mo the moment you stop, the moment you slip away because they're keep like you basically mirror them. You know, they're slipping away, you slip away, and it becomes stagnant. And this is where this person or situation or maybe project or um, something, someone, they realize, okay, uh, the key player, Capricorn, thieves, he or she stop. Capricorn, the key player, stop. So we need to chase Capricorn because we need Capricorn in this project, in this situation, or in this relationship. They actually were quite, um, were quite squa squared. Sorry, Mercury Red. They are, they are scared. It scares them that you back out or you have not given so much energy anymore versus in the past. So if you feel like you need to kind of slip away or step out, step back because you're not getting what you are supposed to be getting, whether this is a person, a situation, 
and um it, it's time to give that you know it's time to release it because sometimes when you release that's where you kind of get you know because i feel like you put all of your effort and control but it just wouldn't work so i'm seeing you with the four of pentacles the moon card why is this so complicated it confused me i release and this is where you get a reaction knight of cups the hidden energy is the four of wands it seems to be this person and yourself or this project is going to start to pick up again your two of wands their two of wands so you're going to start seeing improvement result or them being collaborative cooperative and giving a reciprocal respond reply um an equal amount of give and take is here in the horizon for you i'm getting in here ace of cups you could start all over again with this person or this project so if you feel like there is potential there is hope then don't block don't reject it maybe slow down you know because um, the temperance is in here in the immediate future. Um, there's still there is still a relationship between the two of you. There is still a project, a business, a continuation of this. It so happened that like you're dealing with people or energy that is quite lazy. And if they're lazy, they need to wake up. And to make to make them wake up is not to give them a nudge, but sometimes you gotta step back. Because it, because it, it it shakes them up. You know, the Knight of Cups is like a shake up. They don't they don't hear you. They don't feel you, so they feel like they're losing you, and that is where they wake up. So, what I'm getting is that don't give up yet. Who whatever this focus is in in recently up until this week, don't give up yet. There's still a heartbeat. There's still a chance. There's still a potential. You observe once you kind of step back because you that's where you're gonna get the response, the reply. In fact, it's going to get stronger because they will take over Ace of Cups. It's a reset of responsibility. It's a reset of give and take. It's going to be different, you know, temperance card. The dynamic of you and this person will be different, you know. So hang on there, Capricorn. Um, there is an improvement. There's still a heartbeat and there's a lot of interest. You just really have to let go of control because that is where like a boomerang. Once you let go, it comes back to you. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if you put too much control, it puts pressure and people kind of slip away or pull away. But this one, it's definitely will boomerang. It will, you know, spin back to you, you know. And um, this is what I have for you guys. Um, thank you so much. I'll see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye bye.